we're back. Uh, where were we? V, do you have a moment? Oh, right away. Need to talk? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem, and you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did, but I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come, am I right? Oh, shoot. On my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Mm-hmm. See you soon. God damn, Pan Am. So needy. <laughs> Your family problems. Um, Alright, so I downloaded a mod that is supposed to let me respect these. Because I'm not really crafting anything. I've never really been much of a crafter. Um, and I don't really like tech weapons, how they auto-aim for you. Um, because I'm all about that headshot, you know? <clears throat> and, like, intelligence is cool, too. Like, quick hacking, quick hacking is, a uh, is pretty funny. Like, I can just, I can see it getting, like, super ridiculously broken because I can just get really high RAM recovery and just, like, keep going and just like kill people without even firing a shot but I'm getting I don't know it's all right I just kind of want to try other things um, and the only way to do that is to level up more or start a new game because I'm assuming it takes longer to level up the higher level you are so <clears throat> Let's see if this works. So it's called Respector. And I'm not actually sure how to use this thing. Oh. Okay. So I can just reset my perks. Okay, okay I clicked it. Does that work? Thirty-four perk points available. Nice. Uh, the thing is, though, I won't have like skill progression rewards if I want to switch into something else. But that's okay. Um, and I want to respect my attributes. So if I just reset everything to three. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay. So now I can actually do what I want to. Right, I kind of want to do like a long range stealth build that's not just like hiding behind a corner and hacking people. So, um, pretty sure cool is where all the. Stealth stuff is increased damage dealt by silenced weapons by 25%. Yes. What's cold blood? Oh. Quick hack cooldowns. Provides a range of improvements while quickly eliminating enemies. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Okay, well I definitely want ninjutsu. Um, where are rifles? Are sniper rifles? Rifles? Rifle types and submachine guns. Sniper rifle. I'm assuming, right? <laughs> I'm assuming. Physical feats. Shotguns, light machine guns, heavy machine guns. 
put weapons and fists. Okay, so yes, it would be here. Okay, well I know I need at least 10 in body so I can use that stupid sniper rifle. Let's just see what the difference is. 151.3 full potential body time. Wait, what was the difference? What was the difference? I mean, this one comes with a silencer, so I want this one. <laughs> Weird. Okay, well, whatever. And let's just put 10 in cool. And 10 in reflex. <clears throat> we can go from here. Headshot damage outside of combat sniper. Yes. Um, nah. Melee damage, no. Ooh, oh! You can get like a jumping down one. Knife throwing. Oh shoot. Fifteen percent more damage to humans. Okay. Melee. Poison. I even know. Oh well, yeah, there was poison. Health regen. Okay, nothing really else for sniping. Throw knives, detection time. Knife. Did I even need to be level 10? Okay, wait, I'm gonna reset again. <laughs> I want to. Reset perks. So, this is level 9. So, I want this. I need level 9. This. I want this. Is that it? Did I miss something else? Ranged weapons. Quick and melee attacks with the ranged weapons. Chance increased by ten percent. I think I think that's everything from for sniping. Everything else is poison or knives. Oh, you can poison drones. Oh shit. I think I'm good with nine. That's cool though, there's a knife throwing build. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. So. Reduce. Mm hmm. My 
rifles. Yes. Firing from behind cover. Downside's okay. I need level 14 for this. Named bullets. Okay. 14 reflex. West sniper. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Assault rifles and some machine guns. Recoil now. Wait. Oh, crit chance and okay. When standing still, I need level 20. Do I have enough? Whew, I have 20 reflex. Oh shit. Savage, savage stoic. 35% one standing still. There's a bunch of behind cover ones. Um, two moving enemies. Uh, reload time, uh, aim down sight. That's okay. From behind cover. The farther, oh, yeah, uh huh. Recoil. I think that's okay. And then I want some handgun stuff because I still have my pistol. Reset my progression too. This was up here. I swear it was. Am I tripping? That's okay, I guess. It's the price I'll pay for <laughs> for respecking. I'm hoping I am a monster with this now. Okay, well, let's go see what what Pan Am wants. My my platonic friend. <laughs> We'll see if sniping people is fun. Otherwise, I don't know. Maybe I'll try like a blade build. That sounds like it'll be fun. No. 
rest and stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. You're here. Are we preparing for what a visit from Biotechnica? Here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. What's happening? I can't believe it. <clears throat> there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to peddle it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Hello, hello. This, is Coyote. this basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Ooh, I can do cool options now. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. And then smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Unbelievable. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. There's this girl. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. 
Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. Damn, what I need 20 for this. Sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. Yeah, it's all too easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul. I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Damn, I can just be like, nah. <laughs> I kind of want to, but... <laughs> Might as well just do all the missions I can get, right? Okay. V? I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. If I said no, the do they all die? The need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? This is definitely going south. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. And I'm definitely going to be have to doing all the heavy lifting. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Can I buy mods? Where can I buy mods? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Increased damage. Uh, whatever. Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. I kind of hope some of these people die. <laughs> Tenem's kind of. She's kind of got her head up her own ass. happening. Oh, there it is. Waiting for you? <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suit. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah, took adjustment on my part too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I remember that. Oh, <laughs> Jackie. Maybe he's alive somehow. They took his body. We have arrived. Seventy percent. Good morning, Night City. Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friend. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. 
Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. The Militech convoy will be <clears> traveling <throat> from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Now we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need hand? Warning. Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Oh. <laughs> I can double jump. How did you weasel your way in there? Here I opened the damned door. Be right there. I can double jump. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. How yes, are you? those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay. Here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Oblong cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Oh, I'm looking. Not a... Not here. Okay, it must be here somewhere. Where? V, look thoroughly, please. Not a... something good job Carol we have a card what now you have to put it in the reader well V the card in the reader <sighs> here goes nothing to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Ugh, trust issues again. Thought we talked it all out. V, I know I can count on you. But... But... No one has ever done something like this for me before. Not without a catch. Oh, come on. Okay. But thank you, V. I'm serious. Okay, better. <laughs> She's not all, right. all. Let's rejoin the others. Oh, I feel like I should have picked the other one. I feel like I kind of blew her off. 
Should have talked more. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Wonder when the last autosave was. I'm I, I'm just curious. I'm curious. Wonder what she's gonna say. I take it back. I hope none of them die. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Now that's where we are. Okay, here we are. Carol, what are we looking for? One car. What cards? Not here. Hmm. Oh well, well. Well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. Here goes. Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Getting cold feet? I am. But it has nothing to do with the convoy. So what is it? I know this may sound foolish. Because I asked you to help me. But why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I. Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I went out a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. Cute. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Got friend zone pretty hard, yes. though. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. For now. Okay, I'll meet you there. <gasps> uh oh. I can't double jump. Huh? Ooh, we get to have a little bonfire. Is she down the stairs yet? My god. There she is. Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. You worried about Saul? So bright. Oh, my God quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. What? He's still going. <laughs> this man's a machine. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. Your 
acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. How to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. I barely knew thee. To Scorpion. This guy's got a sick cigarette at the back. Aww. <laughs> Pan Am. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. This is a vibe. Gonna try and get some sleep. <laughs> okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Cute. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. All right, here we go. Bro, let's ride. <laughs> My god. Will we line it up again? All right. She's moving. Get her up to speed.
surround them as soon as they're cut off. These ours? Ah, oh, there they are. Oh shit. Why are they bouncing? Find another one. All right, the train's leaving. Okay, let me wait. Let me wait. Let me wait. Let me wait. Why are you? So Let's fast. Go. Ready to roll. Damn, pretty ruthless. Just take him out and go. Is there going to be like an airstrike How's or something? There, v? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of chunk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. What, there's like a freaking bio bomb in it? <laughs> I'm so paranoid. Still honking? Oh my god. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. It's still honking. I'm gonna reload. Let's roll out. Did I break it? Fuck! An amp! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment! And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be! Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. 
Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Is that a bullet? Scar? Shit. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Nice. Queen of the highway. Wait a day until the basilisk is ready. Okay. Um. Let's do this. Where am I? V, baby, listen. Got a yarn for you. Who is this Quick guy? Biz, that is. You're interested. All right, lay it on me. I was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classifier. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? He used Mr. Stud cheap. Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Might not mean much to you, but it sounds like a treasure to a net runner. Fucking Dead Sea Scroll yummy. You want me to clup it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. No clipping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure. And someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. Okay, will do. That's my girl. Zipping you the deets on the seller. And luck be with you all the way. Got it, thanks. Who is this? Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full unpaid. Clear enough. Agreed. Prem, I flipped you the address. Come by your lonesome. How much is it?
I'm assuming it's here. Uh, yeah. Spellbook. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. You trying to fuck me? No, not at all. I just... Because I really got it in for people who try that. Always tempted to end any conversation like that. Violently. Abruptly. You'd be making a mistake. A big one. I'm not out to con you. Also, I'm not a victim. I'm prepared just as well as you are. Okay. Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay. Take you at your word. You won't regret it. Better not. Or you will. Bigly. Bigly. Giving you my word on that. Just flipped you the coordinates. Mm hmm. We'll see. What is this? I'm not smart enough to check it anymore. Oh, my boy River. What's up, Chu? Wait, can I not answer it? Sit there. This is it. Ah, uh, oh yes. Looks like trash. Ah, oh, the Zeta Tech XPR, top of the line back in the day. Open your shards menu and decrypt the book of spells. The Book of Spells. Where is it? Book of Spells. Never really figured this out. I'll try crafting spec for advanced quick. I'll try that one. Fifty five one C F F B D. Alcatraz. Bart Moss unleashed. Oh, Bart Moss. That's that one. Bart Moss Collective. Dow Jones dropped by hundreds in a single hour. Oh shit. CEO committed suicide. Has their own net that they roll with an iron fist. Damn. We go back to Nyx. What are these? Like, can I actually shop for clothes? Where are you from? Stuck on where to take my style. 
Anything you'd recommend? Your eyes remind me of autumn. Oh. Might I suggest a piece from Chiaki Kyoto? Chiaki Kyoto? What's good here? Whatever you desire. Clothing vendor. Ooh. Wait, can I like pre Oh, I can preview. Oh shit, that's fancy as hell. Damn, I'm cute. Kind of like my casual. Ew. Kind of like the play that I have. Some glasses. Too high end for me. Too fancy. Hey. I need a fast travel station. Fast travel. Back to Nix. to run in the afterlife. What's up, bro? No, you cannot. Did she anything? So, you got the book? You got my eddies? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Oh, <laughs> not smart enough. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved. Thanks. Through Shamfire again, I know you want to kick back and celebrate your victory. You're getting soft, V. Oh, Johnny. River is definitely a love interest. There's a clothing thing here too, I remember. Maybe they got more casual stuff for me. There it is. What's up kid? Sell in new or used threads? Used. Nobody's willing to ship any new stock all the way out here. But who am I to complain? You just have to tread the highway, peek into the wreckage. Sharp eye will always pick up something. Hmm? <laughs> She's wearing pretty much what I am. <laughs> Looking for some decent outerwear. You're in luck. Our prices are out of this world. Get it? I don't like the. This looks exactly like the other one. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, it's okay. 
a gas mask? Oh shit. It's gotta say, I'm not a big fan of Cyberpunk's fashion options. What is that? Oh, what, what the heck? Oh no, that's the one I have equipped. That's okay. What did I just do? <laughs> just a t-shirt. Eh, whatever. I, I bought something. $3,000? Thanks. I'm supposed to wait for dinner time. Okay, waiting. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. <laughs> Cute. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. Oh my god, this guy's so What's dazed. on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. This guy wants me to stir his meat. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but... Feels like a clean break for him. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning normal. <laughs> As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well, wanted you to see this side of me too. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. Wait, they're kind of cute together. <laughs> Alright. Think you've stirred enough? I've been stirring, boy. And grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. <laughs> cute. <laughs> this guy's so deezed. My god, look at those bicep. Everyone in this game has a bicep vein. I want it. Find you know, rice. Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man too. I like to eavesdrop. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly <gasps> fit the mold. She saw me. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. 
Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Hey, what's up? Really nice of you to come. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? He's still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy don't had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's out back. You know, he can't seem to stop gushing about you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> River. Basmati, nice. I got the basmati. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Beef. Grab a chair and a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Why do I... Tell me now. About Harris. Why is this perspective so weird? I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. <clears throat> One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. When my parents died. Now, oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. I want to know. Mostly, I remember my mom crying. When my dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gassed out of his mind. He fired first. Blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus. River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. Went rabid. Handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Oh my god, did he pull the trigger? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. Oh my god. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that roaming free. No one to hunt him. Oh, yeah, your sister. Was Joss there, too? Saw all this? Mm hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her mom's head. Can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital, 
out to his brow. I was that kid again. But I was also the junkie who shot my parents. I understand. I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. What is this? Damn, this is a kid's game? This is gonna be fancy, isn't it? Oh shit, I'm a cop. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Huh? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. And they're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Cute. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time. Retired two times. And kicked off the force three times. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado. And take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. About to smack these kids. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Okay. All right. Let the kids win. <laughs> sure. <laughs> just because you asked, River. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Coonies! Take that! Oh, no. Is that all you got? Nuh-uh! Watch this! Next round! Next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. <sighs> quiet. Too quiet. What if, like, we get run over by a car in real life or something? So there's no one else around? It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Oh no! Oh, save them, kids. Save them. Not half bad. Back behind us! <gasps> hey! Okay, that's all of them. But next time we gotta be faster. You're not even shooting, River. Are you 
part of the game. Out of the way, citizen. Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning. Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. Not half bad. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> He's so nice. Die. Bang, bang, bang. You have to reload this fake gun. I wonder how that works. He's hit! He's hit! Okay, I think we got him all. But it's not over yet. Come on, kids. What's happening? Some last words? Bag. I want to see you squirm. No, your last words. <laughs> <gasps> oh, come on, another ambush. Okay, so now lunch is ready. Mm, but mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Huh? Oh, no. They had me flat beat. Hey! Food's on the table. <laughs> so? Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah! The bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. The whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. You're not eating. If you kid. say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss. Uh oh. Well, why hide it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably asked you to say that himself. Didn't he? Wow. How did she know? Slick. <laughs> Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? Wait, <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I do. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. <laughs> I got peer pressured by the kids. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Oh no. Wait, what happens to to Judy? Whew, situation was getting Am I not allowed dicey. to deal with Judy anymore? That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Oh my god. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. 
This is cute. Oh. Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. See you later. Just push. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Taking us up to a top of a water tower. Stars out, moon shining. Oh boy. Man's wearing leather pants. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic Bates, the and the Pacific. It's ready. Uh, Pan Am. Would you like to drive it? <laughs> but I sure do love this view. Good. Find it calming. All right, now, buddy. Can't now, Pan Am. Swing around as soon as I can. Sure. We'll be waiting. Kind of busy here, Pan. Come on. Ruin the moment. <laughs> uh. Okay. <clears throat> used to die for great spot indeed told you got something for you what's that revolver wow uh, what's the occasion sheesh aiming to close the door a stage of my life is done this thing holds too many memories won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Collecting guns from Thank people. You. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. <laughs> that the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little at that. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. You swallow beautifully. <laughs> Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> Are you serious? This guy and I, sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. So, I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on a shoulder. Damn, am says, I not wearing anything? Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. <laughs> What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Wait a second. Was there a third? Where did my shirt mm -hmm. go? Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. Oh my god, I am asking for it. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird, he was... Spill in, and then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. What the fuck? That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Let 
They're kind of cute together, though. I'm not gonna lie. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh boy. Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, V. Oh Too late. shoot! Oh man. Okay. Is it is it like graphic though? It is. Oh boy. We're gonna do it where the kids are. Yo, this guy is so oh my. This guy's so D's though. See now, if I was a guy, do you think River swings that way too? Maybe not. Probably not. This guy? I don't think so. Ooh, this guy's humming and hawing. Oh, I am wearing a shirt. Why did I take my shirt off at the water tower? What? V? <laughs> my, my character wanted to do it. Even before I said anything. Christ, V. Can't believe you're making me fuck up. Oh huh? yeah, Johnny's here. I'm gonna so go funny. plug my ears, gouge out my eyes. <laughs> Sorry, Keanu. <laughs> That's so funny. My god, this guy's so dazed, though. Hey. Hey. Coffee will be ready in a jiff. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm dying. <sighs> oh, Prem. Cute. Talked in your sleep, you know? Yeah. I dreamt of a warehouse searching containers in it. Warehouse must have been huge. <laughs> you were loud. Taste it. Best coffee you've ever had, I bet. Oh, there's another cup there, V. Come on. Best jambalaya, best coffee. Mm-hmm. Come on, keep it coming, and... Don't say it. Just that. <laughs> so, I've been thinking. What? Last night, you and me, is this going anywhere? You know, longer term. Listen, River. What happened? It was real. It was good. Ew. But... I can't make any plans for the future. There's this thing... That you couldn't tell me about. I know. Call it veteran cop intuition. It's why I told you about my parents. Yeah, I'm oh. Give me courage. Boost it. Uh, no. 
So you'd know exactly how fucked up I am. Give you a chance to consider if you even want me. Who? River. I'm dying. Wanna haggle on? Try to outdo that? What? Wasn't just me you spent the night with. That's crazy. Sharing headspace with a construct I caught like some disease. All because of an experimental Arasaka biochip. Construct? You mean like somebody's mind? Mm hmm. An engram of Johnny Silverhand. Yes, that Silverhand. And it's getting worse. But. Sorry, still not following you. You're talking to V right now. But tomorrow, this could be a self-obsessed dickhead rocker boy. And trust me, you don't want to talk to him. How is that even possible? He's displacing my own neural net, River. Gradually destroying my brain. But it's reversible, right? Uh, there's no way it could actually kill you. Actually, doesn't look promising. Need to excise him. Get him out of my brain before it's too late. Shit. Still want to be my boyfriend? Who do you take me for? Of course I do. This doesn't change a thing. Cute. Question is, what do you want? Are you willing to give this a shot? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Judy, though. Come on, V. Oh, God, don't don't you rush me. <laughs> oh God, they're cute together. They got a fan. They got like the kids. This works, River. I like being around you. Let's give it a try. Let's get it a try. But if it doesn't work, we'll still be friends, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. But don't mind me, and... Tell Randy I said hello. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry, V. Will I see you later? Yeah, sure. Have a good day, then. Cute. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then it's really Have I, like... How am I supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> save game. Um, yeah, I save here. Yes. <clears throat> and if I load here, where is this? Okay, this is the morning after. Okay. And then we got we got all of these. I can okay. We'll load this one. on the table oh this is before 
Okay. Mm hmm. They are cute together. And he's handy, oh my god. V, you never stood a chance. Unless I fucking murder him right now. Huh? Oh yeah, and I got his pistol. Is it good? Is this it? A weapon for someone who won't miss the first time. Crit damage is 29% less. I just murder them. You know, if I just if I just throw a grenade down there. <laughs> oh, what's up, V? What's up, Judy? for Judy's call. We are a thing now. What should I do next, though? Oh, yeah, there's meat with Pan Am. Let's do some other random one next time. Oh, Bart Moss Collective. time.